What is going on guys? Happy Saturday. It is January 6th and we just got done a four mile run Thursday. I'll put it right here on the screen. Thursday we did uh, 12 miles. First long run of the year. 12 miles in like an hour and 55 minutes. Um, I started out really strong. My goal for that run was 13 miles. I wanted a half marathon, first half marathon, first week of the year. Uh, but the way we finished that run, I was not feeling it. Um, and I didn't want to go out like that on my first half marathon. Uh, we hit like mile eight and a half, I think. And I just bonked out. Energy was super low. And yeah, it was, it was rough. It was a walk run the last couple miles. Was not a fan of it. But you know, we live and you live and you learn. You just gotta keep pushing. Um, but yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see all my runs the day I uh, complete them. I'll put it on my story. Um, but CJ Strive 603 is my Instagram. If you want to follow me there, I'll do my best to follow you back. And yeah, four miles today felt really good. Uh, the day started out really rainy and dreary wasn't sure how it was going to end up but it turned out to be a beautiful day very nice weather and we got it done we got it in look the weekends are the perfect time for you to either make up for lost time during the week or if you had a great week really productive guess what why kill that momentum on the weekend? Why relax when you can keep that momentum riding high? You have to make that decision for yourself. And either way, you should always be doing what it takes on the weekends to keep making progress. Weekends are not a time to slack off and, you know, take it easy. If you have a feeling during the week that there's not enough time in the day, then guess what? The weekends are and should be your best friend because you got time. Everybody has the same amount of time in the day. Yeah, we've all got priorities and we've all got different lives and different lifestyles. But when you want something bad enough, you'll make the time for it. Whether it's waking up earlier or going to bed earlier so you can wake up earlier. You have to prioritize, you have to structure your day to make sure that you're making progress no matter what it takes. There's no such thing as not enough time. And I understand that there's not enough time in the day to do you know, everything you wanna do. But you gotta prioritize and you've gotta set limits You've got to make sure that your goals, the ones you really want to accomplish are at the top of your list and you're not just bullshitting yourself. Excuse my language. But when you want something bad enough, you're going to make the time. You're not going to find the time. You're going to make the time. Sometimes it's not all about balance. Sometimes it's about going all in on one thing and making that your main priority, your main focus. Whether it's first thing in the morning, you check off something off your to-do list, that's gonna move you closer to your goals. So that is my rant for the day. When you want something bad enough, you're going to make the time to make sure you're moving closer to it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I just sent out my second email last night for the Strive newsletter. And those were like the first two emails were more like a Okay, this is what's to expect and my like goal with the newsletter. Um, and now we're going to get into like some more, you know, structured email, um, educational stuff. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Hope you guys are having a great start to 2024. And if you're not, you know, keep your head up because things will get better especially when you make the time to make those things better. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, choose to strive. Let's go.